Okay guys, uh, like I said I wanted to show two different methods of processing squirrel. Uh, being able to take care of your meat is just as important if not more important than actually knowing how to hunt. Because uh, it doesn't matter how good of a hunter you are, if you don't know how to take care of your stuff after you get it home, then you're going to have a whole lot of waste. So I'm going to start out with the gray squirrel with uh, probably the fastest method to get the skin off of them and uh, clean them out and everything, get them ready to eat. So this method is best if you're not planning on keeping the hide. And that's because the hide is going to come off in two different sections. Move this guy out of the way for the moment. And the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to start at the base of the tail. Once you find where the tailbone is, we're going to cut in until you feel the tailbone. Okay, I feel the tailbone. Now what I'm going to do is actually break the tailbone and make sure that that tailbone is free from the rest of the torso. I got my knife actually on the bone. All right. Here, that broke it free. We'll just make sure that all the hide is pulled away from that bone. Okay, so that's where we're at. We got the tailbone broke. We got the hide pulled away from the tailbone. Now we're going to make two cuts on either side, going kind of around where the uh, the pelvic region is. It's just going to be one cut down here, one cut down here. It only has to be maybe about an inch. Now we've got the hide cut back that far. Next thing we're going to do is actually step on the tailbone and pull up. And what that's going to do is pull everything down to the feet and the head. So, let me make sure you guys can see this. Lay it just like that foot right on the tailbone and then just pull up just like that right now I'm going to grab the stomach section and pull it up to loosen it up okay now we're just going to pull the rear legs free. Just like that. Okay. And the front legs will just pop right out. Okay. And the head. Just like that. And you have a skin squirrel. Okay, before we actually put it in the meat bag, we got to get all the guts and everything out. You want to cut very carefully. that you don't hurt the internal organs. Split it up to the rib cage, And then down to the pelvic area. Once you get down to the pelvis, let me make sure you guys can see this. Once you get down to the pelvis, you're going to have to break through the pelvic bone, and you can do that with a good strong knife. It doesn't take a whole lot. You just push through, you'll feel it break. 
just like that. All right. Split the rib cage open all the way up to the throat. Okay. Now you're going to notice the body cavity is separated into two areas. You got the vital area up top, which has got the heart, lungs, and liver. And then you've got all the guts on the bottom. You don't want any of that. It is separated by a diaphragm wall. So you can begin to cut that diaphragm wall. And then you're going to reach up towards the neck and you'll find the esophagus. Cut the esophagus out. Just make one cut. Then you can grab under there. Get under the esophagus near the backbone. Now, two fingers come in behind the esophagus and everything, all the guts, all of it will just pull right out. And it's going to be a little bit messy, but don't worry. You're going to eat them. Just like that. Okay. And make sure you get everything out of there. Okay, there's still a little bit left. This one was a male, so it's got a couple extra parts you got to take care of. Look it over real good, make sure there is nothing in there that you don't want to be in there. Okay. Now the next step is to take the head off and the feet. To do that, you can use a knife, it's easier to use a hatchet. So, but basically, you can cook it pretty much just like that. Wash it off really good and uh, probably soak it in buttermilk or salt water overnight. That usually helps. Cook it in the crock pot. And uh, there you go. There's your squirrel all ready to eat. There's not too much hair left. The second method I'm going to show you is best if you want to keep the hide. And for this we're going to do it the same way you would a deer. We're going to cut all the way around the feet. All four of them. We're going to cut around the head. And we're going to cut slits from the ankle all the way up around the pelvis down to where we cut towards the ankle on the next one here and the same thing straight across here and we're going to split straight up the middle that way the hide can come off all in one piece for tanning now we cut there I'm going to try to cut straight across. Make one cut from here all the way up. Find a good starting point and go and try not to hit anything important. Now, just peel the skin off, which takes a while. When you get to the tail, you want to be really careful 
so that you don't break the tail. There's a special tool for this. This is called a tail splitter. And the way that it works, you get it over the tailbone like so, crimp down on it, you grab that and pull. And it pulls the tail right out. Now you process the meat the same way you did on the other one. And you have a very nice full squirrel hide. It's good for tanning. So, I'm going to show you the first steps in preserving this so that you can actually tan it. First thing that you're going to want to do, even though the tail bone is out of the tail, you want to split the skin as well as you can. And there's a special tool for that too called a tail splitter that I just happen to have. This is what's called a tail splitter. You want to lay it out flat, or as flat as you can get it, and hook this in where the tailbone was, and then just draw it out. That splits your tail about as good as you're going to get it. All the way down. Okay. So now the next step is to tack this out so that we can dry it out. Okay, now as you can see, we have this hide tacked out the flesh side up onto this box. And we just use thumbtacks for that. Now there's two things that you can use as a preservative. One thing is salt, just regular old salt. The other thing is 20 mule team borax. Uh, difference is salt is a little bit cheaper. Borax keeps bugs off it a little bit better. And you just want to coat all of this with your borax. What this is going to do is it's going to draw out all the moisture from the hide and that's going to preserve it. Now it's not going to tan it, but it will be preserved. And what I like to do is just work it in to make sure that it gets everywhere it needs to go. So worked in pretty good. I'll just pour it on. Just to make sure, because it's hot and it's humid, so we want this to dry out as fast and as fully as possible. Alright. Now that's done, you just want to put that in a safe place where animals and stuff aren't going to get to it and you just leave it there oh for about a week or two and that'll ensure that it's completely dried out all right guys great success today we got two squirrels we got a fox squirrel and a gray squirrel uh we're going to eat both of these all i got to do is wash them off real good put them in the crock pot uh, we got a hide sitting out uh, it's going to dry out and uh, here in about two weeks or so when it's completely dry and we'll probably start tanning it. <laughs> I'll show you guys how to tan a squirrel hide. So until then, thumbs up guys.